Quick question. Would you like me to do a review on Angel Fall by Susan E? Unknown by Melissa Pearl? Or Looking for Alaska by John Green? Let me know in the comments. ages since I filmed my last video. Well, more like 10 days, but still it feels like ages. So many stuff has been going on. And it turns out I'm going to be going to Germany for the next two years to do a master's in psychology, which is so exciting, but also so nerve-wracking. I have to switch countries, switch languages, switch school, leave my ha family, leave my friends. Oh, it's also scary, but I'm also so excited. And I was also in Germany the past week, that's why I couldn't film anything. And I really don't know what kind of time I will have to film um, for the next month or so. I'm gonna try my best because I really enjoy making these videos and YouTube and booktube and talking about books and all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna try my best. But let's move on from that and to more exciting stuff. I'm here to do the character betrayal tag, which was created by Miranda from Books 101, and I was tagged by her, and also by Amanda from Panduin Reads, and their links to their awesome channels are in the description box, as always, so check them out. And so, let's start with Stack. Yay! Okay, first question, here we go. You're at a party playing a game of Spin the Bottle. The bottle lands on you and your dream fictional character partner. You lean in to give a kiss to your dream fictional character partner, while all the while their actual girlfriend or boyfriend is watching. Which character are you betraying in order to get a kiss from the character of your dreams? Okay, so... Can I betray someone I like here to get a kiss from someone I like even more? Okay, I'm doing that. I'm gonna betray Triss from Divergent in order to get a kiss from Thor. Okay, I love Thor. And I also really like Tris, but uh, so I'm sorry Tris, it's really nothing personal, I just, I need a kiss from your boyfriend, that's all. Nothing personal. Second question, are we ready? Are we ready? Let's go! I just watched Mean Girls and saw Regina George being pushed in front of the bus by Katie. Unlike Mean Girls, you do not feel guilty about pushing a character in front of the bus. Okay. Which character would you push in front of the bus? They're still alive and well after. So, I have one for this. Okay, this is kind of a spoiler for anyone who hasn't read the House of Night series. So mute this and wait until I give you a thumbs up again. Okay, I'm gonna put Eric in front of the bus because he's such a nice guy in the beginning of the books and then he turns out to be the hugest jerk ever. And it's not like I'm gonna kill him. I'm just gonna put him in front of the bus. It's not the same, trust me. Okay, so you can come back now. Question number three. It is a life or death situation. You're trapped with a character you hate in the middle of the bush. Suddenly, as you keep walking, the woods begin to look familiar and you know the way out. You call it a break for the day and you and the character you hate decide to call it a night. That night, you leave, sneaking away from the character, leaving them to find their own way out. Which character do you betray? Okay, I have a good one for this because this scene reminds me exactly of a scene in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone where Harry and Malfoy are alone in the woods and Voldemort comes and Malfoy leaves screaming. So I would leave Malfoy alone in the woods and I'm sure he would never find his way out on his own. He's shut the bush and he really can do anything alone. So question number four. You're trapped in a hole and above you lies the only escape. You ask the character you're trapped with for a lift so you can get out. You tell them when you get out of the hole, you will help them. You make it out of the hole and walk away, not helping the character, still trapped inside the hole. Which character do you betray? Huh. Okay. I have a good one for this too. But if you haven't read The Vampire Academy, at least book one, then wait again for the thumbs up. So I'm gonna be betraying Victor Dashkov. I just hate that character. He's so manipulative and he even almost killed his own daughter. So he deserves to be left alone in a hole and he's sick and all. And I don't think he's gonna make it long enough in there. Haha, <laughs> bye Victor. Hey, you can come back now. And final question. You're in an argument with a character you hate when bang, you are surrounded by zombies, vampires and wolves. You and this character have to unite to fend off these creatures. You then realize you have a magic test in your pocket that a warlock gave you that will help you get out of any situation. 
of course they do. <laughs> you use it and suddenly find yourself in a luxurious environment sipping a drink you love. Which character would you leave to fend for themselves? <laughs> okay, I know who that's gonna be. That's gonna be Miranda from The Devil Wears Prada. Ha! Have you read that book? I know many people didn't like it, but I really like the book. But Miranda is really a huge bitch. And she always tells everyone to get their stuff and do things for her and orders everyone around. So I guess she can fend for herself for once. Yeah, fight of the wolves, Miranda. Good luck with that. So that was it with this tag. It was so much fun doing it and getting revenge on some of the characters I hate. And uh, thank you to Miranda from Books 101 for creating this. I would tag some people, but Miranda tagged everyone, so there's not many people left to tag. Yeah, so I'm just tagging everyone else, I guess. Give this tag a shot, it's really fun, I promise. If you like this video, please um, subscribe or leave me a comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Who haven't read Wi-Fi Academy? Friends?